We got leaked early concept of Insomniac's Green Goblin. Oh look, you're Spider-Man, you can swing from buildings. Imagine swinging around with your friends in multiplayer. Sup, Chaos here? And dude, this was teased like so long ago, but like there was a trailer that I saw recently where five Spider-Men and maybe woman can explore the city together in some sort of open world co-op and it's literally the best thing in the world. Oh, thing is, um, it was actually canceled by the developers. <laughs> Why would they do this to us? So today I want to check out and break down this trailer to see if I can catch anything suspicious. There's some juicy stuff here like possible co-op missions, an entire roster of characters, new suits, and even ways to fight your favorite villains. But this trailer starts off with Peter saying he would do anything for a city, New York. So it shows the city and then all of a sudden we cut to some action scenes of two Spider-Men saving the day? He's literally saving a bunch of cars, maybe even this police officer here. Like in this screenshot, we've got this suit, the Scarlet Spider suit, which already makes me think you can change your suits at any moment in the multiplayer but he's stopping a robber dude imagine actual real-time events where you can stop crime even police may be following right behind you listen everything we're about to see in this trailer is mind-blowing to me and because i am really impatient sometime i literally had to mod a lot of this stuff into the game on spider-man pc oh it's so beautiful like i was actually making spider-man 3 the game a long time ago but now it looks like we can actually save people from burning cars possibly I mean, this has to be like an in-game screenshot, right? Dude, imagine saving the day and then you, you've pretty much got photo mode and possibly taking selfies with your, your friend in-game. Game? Wait a minute. Spider-Man 2 doesn't have a selfie mode? Nah, no, I'm just now realizing this. What in the absolute f Why not? Okay, back on topic though. Hey, listen, if I were in charge, I'd make all my developers in the sweat camps add the selfie mode to this game, okay? And definitely different styles for this Gwen suit, dude. This this thing looks badass. Like I mentioned, I had the mod in Gwen suit at one point when playing Spider-Man PC. Yo, what the- a dodge button? Something. We're not gonna let this act of terror happen in the city again. Go, go. Oh, oh my God. I do not remember any of this. <laughs> yep. Office workers gone. Never coming back. Never respawning. Yes. Hi. Oh, that's clean. Oh, and we're swinging. People are dying. <laughs> Tell me there is no casualties during this. Oh. <laughs> rapid speed honestly i could have just installed a gwen stacy skin no no not not the one from spider-man 3 like big shout out to all the modders out there who actually like take the time to make these suits and it's funny because i really thought that suit back then was super clean i know it's modded and all but look at this one that they they're teasing in this trailer like she's wearing like some women's nikes or maybe they're crocs i don't know but wait, also is that even woman i it might be a dude can you pick gender in multiplayer Hmm. Yo, this is gonna turn into like a, a wish list video. I might need to call up Santa on speed dial. Why did they cancel it? I don't know. I mean, the many things I'll be seeing in this trailer later on in this video might give us an answer though, because there's some pretty questionable player models that I'm not too sure about. But hey, you, before one hour gang. Yeah, you, I, I know you're watching. I've gotta know, wh why do you think like they canceled this game, dude? I Insomniac has been facing some troubles, dude, like with Wolverine, the game leaking. God, it looks so good though. And them laying off a bunch of people. Like in these videos, I've been saying for the longest, they need to just hire me instead i've got great ideas and um maybe we would actually have the multiplayer by now dude why is this suit so clean look at this shit. but still we're in the beginning of this trailer and it shows three spider dudes jumping the f out of rhino wanting to whoop ass where they can because he's definitely on their turf live missions where you can chase rhino down in the city would be so sick like as you can see what i'm doing right now like i know i'm alone and everything but it just I just imagine fighting <laughs> with your best friend from like Alabama or something. He's there, you're in a different state. You guys are just whooping ass. And I'm even hoping for like player combos too. Kind of like how Miles and Peter have those cool player combos in game. Holy shit. <laughs> Cause having a friend in game to help you with this would prevent you from getting smacked by a hairy bear dude. A lot of these mods in game kind of just spawns in friends for you. Like imagine doing this with, <laughs> with your friends back home where you guys can pull off tricks together and maybe even like fly in the sky with your web wings. You know how much easier it would be to save the day if there was other people? Because like, I'm thinking about it while I'm fighting these fuckers, like I think the oil tanker would have just exploded. Oh, 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 hold on. I also noticed something that caught my eye. When saving random dude damsel, you can see that the Miles character is wearing like some cool fucking kicks, but he's also got like a backpack to match. Now I've never seen that sort of backpack in the game. Like it doesn't even come close to this bodega skin backpack. This this thing looks fucking dog shit. M minus the cat, it's cat shit. But if this whole multiplayer thing was like not canceled, bro, the amount of back blings they'd probably add to the game would be astonishing. Like look at this suit, right? Like imagine you can like, I don't know, buy a whole different fanny pack to put your, your snacks in or even swap out your like weird shoes for like Adidas or like Nike or, or 
have a different brim hat thing. Like even imagine there's a whole main menu for these characters where you can swap between each of them, change their suits, and maybe even check out different items at the screen. Like I don't want this to look too much like Fortnite, even though like that's kind of like the standard now when it comes to just games. But imagine if the main menu was a little more cinematic where each person is swinging through the sky and then every time you switch your character, like it actually shows the new character swing in. Oh, dude, my brain just operates on a whole different level. And then we have Gwyn, or like a, a Gwyn character possibly, beating up a random thug in the streets. Would this game give you roles to play? Would you be able to pick between a set amount of characters, whether it's Gwyn, Mile, Peter, maybe even Miguel, that fucking racist? Cause you're black! And if so, would you be able to have just their powers or would you be able to pick certain powers and just before i thought this multiplayer was just four people we have a fifth spider-man who jumps down in the middle so maybe this multiplayer was for up to five different players at a time also i'm kind of curious how they would actually do this though like there's five different players on this ginormous ass map i would hate to be tethered to these five players kind of like in avengers you could not get these fuckers away from you they would steal your kills and but imagine this open world being like an open lobby where one player's here and other players over here eating someone's ass or something. And then we got Spider-Man number five over here fishing for ass. Wait, what the f am I? Is this my house? My headquarters? Oh, yeah, I'm see, I'm thinking of on the fly, dude. Each Spidey in multiplayer would have their own like base headquarters that you can go into, chill for a while. And then you can have your in-game friends come over, plan a mission and you do the mission. But we got the trailer showcasing some ass whoop and then sticking enemies to the wall. And then we get like a cool graphic saying, take down villains. Is that Spider Woman over to the right? For you to be able to play as a Spider Woman and Gwen Stacy, she's over to the left, is kind of shocking to me, like in a good way. Because yeah, I really had to like mod in some curvy Spidey characters in my videos, dude. I also had to blur a lot of stuff in editing. <laughs> Whoa, what? Yeah, I'm not gonna even ask. Maybe there's definitely a reason why the game's canceled. <laughs> they can't even get this shit proper. And look, it looks like we've got Quentin Beck back. Mysterio, he's in the screenshot here. And then the craziest thing so far is when they cut over to what looks like Venom fighting the Spideys. The camera angle's positioned in a way where it looks like you're playing as Venom. Can you be Venom in this multiplayer, dude? Like he's literally pulling off different moves and shit. But trust me, he eats, I mean, he whoops massive ass in this, dude. And I'm actually surprised that they would have something of the sort. You know how many times motherfuckers have been asking for a Venom game? Oh yeah, I'm on the table, by the way. What they gave us in these missions for Spider-Man 2 teased me too much, dude. Like, trust me, I love the whole free roaming aspect, but we had to do that all through glitches, man. And it, it was really hard to do, but me having Venom ride a bike was uh, it's spectacular. And cutting over to the next screenshot, you and your boy Dylan from Alabama, stringing up Venom and fighting him together, scuffing up your kicks. Sounds blissful to me. Oh, look, we, we've got glitches in the uh, screenshot as well. Random street sign inside this car here, I just noticed. But we do have the 2099 suit trying to pin Venom down. If you guys remember uh, Peter winning prize at the the carnival i think it would be cool for them to add different items to actually unlock in this multiplayer imagine taking down venom and then you get like a gold crown that you can wear and then boop, there it is gold crown on my dude while he's chilling maybe that's how you unlock this cool backpack thing but trust me just the hint of venom isn't all we've got there's so much more to see in this trailer like this the gwen character fighting doc ock now i don't really know anything about the comics but having gwen fight ock looks so so satisfying and i did zoom in a little bit on the jacket there's pins on it hmm possibly mission pins gym badges if you may every time you defeat an enemy or real-time event you get a little accolade on your chest on your boob oh my god guess where i am Wait, 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 hold on. Why the fuck are you guys back? Were these the guys who sabotaged the roller coaster in that one mission? Spidey at the carnival. She ride it like a carnival. If they actually end up uncanceling the multiplayer, and this shit turns out to be like GTA with superpowers. Oh, it's all over for GTA 6, dude. Well, maybe. Probably not. But there's also a screenshot of Vulture, Shocker, and... Oh, wait, hold on. They revived my dude. Scorpion popping out of a portal. Now, we've seen this portal in the game when you collect all the spider bots. We've got a cool multiverse cutscene here, and it was actually impressive. It really made it feel like they made that spider bot mission just to tease this multiverse multiplayer game just for it to be canceled, and it's sad to think about. And also, wait, hold on. Maybe fast travel will be even faster in this multiplayer game because in that Black Cat mission, you had Miles going through a portal into Antarctica. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The brain is cooking. It's on fire. Jumping through a portal in the multiplayer might be 
be a way to just cross servers into other people's sessions? Hmm. Am I predicting too much, guys? Insomniac, let me know. Let me keep predicting shit. It's actually 8 p.m. for you right now. And maybe somewhere random, you just see the word Apple. I mean, who knows, right? Like, hey, if I actually get that right, I'd be mind blown. But the next one says, explore the great web. Not too sure why they named it the great web when they could have just called it the web in space, you know, hinting that is more like multiverse-like. But here we can see regular Spidey, Miles, Gwen, Gwen Stacy. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a Silk character? She is. I'm really unfamiliar with the, the character of Silk, so I'm not even sure. But if this is the way they'd introduce her into the game, I guess this works, you know, instead of like waiting for Spider-Man 3 to happen, just a player. But then it showcases the five heroes about to jump through this portal. And then we have the Miles Pete end up in this crazy cartoonish multiverse world, which means whole new locations. Yeah, I think we're sick and tired of like just giant New York City here. I'm pretty sure this cartoon version is still in New York, but it just stylized in a way cooler way. Cause imagine you spinning and shooting webs and it actually comes out like paint goop. But after jumping from portal to portal, it showcases all the characters hopping out. And this screenshot really reminds me of like the Shattered Dimensions main menu where you can see all the four different Spideys. Because in this, we have Symbiote Spidey, Miguel, obviously, Gwen in front, Miles, and then the Scarlet Spider, which I, is that just Peter? It then showcases everyone just swinging and running through the, the buildings and streets. Again, this is all theory, but we can see a bunch of graffiti. It'd be so fucking sick if they actually allow us to like, vandalize the city it wouldn't make sense right because friendly neighborhood and, and hero we don't vandalize jay jonah would be on our ass for that but if we'd be able to like make something as nice and pretty like this maybe then it would be cool holy i did not know this was in the game see what i'm saying being able to spray paint this shit on a wall would be sick Dude, I even mentioned this in one of my videos on how I think they would actually add different multiplayer or co-op races. For example, like the Airstream races, like imagine you have to race through the city against a friend and whoever gets to the destination first wins and get a prize or even combat trials and challenges. First Spidey to kill five thugs and I'm on this block and the other one's on that block over there. First one to detain these fucks wins because you know, Spidey doesn't kill. Or, or hope better yet, let's say we have to actually do stuff with NPCs. First to take five NPCs to the hospital, wins i think this lady might actually need some help is that a shit stain on her yeah oh it is mm -hmm. i think the other spidey might need to take care of that bro did they overpopulate this game bro i was complaining about this shit before on how like the city didn't feel alive enough but like oh no it's feeling real alive what whose happened? middle school teacher mom is this? <laughs> this god damn lady yeah you would not be in the npc saving mission that's for sure because she can hold her own it's not because she's thick Sorry, big or anything no Wait, hold up a minute. Looks like there would have been a mode where you can race your friends around New York. Are they taking my idea? Am I just psychic? Or does everyone just have really good ideas like me? Cause like, dude, the fact that I said that and now it's confirmed. Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, this is me and my buddy's face when we realized the game was canceled. I mean, mine is Venom's face. It looks like he's smiling, but we're actually like sad as fuck in this image. But yeah, no, this, this game actually feels a lot more heavily populated. Is Insomniac listening to me? Hey, Insomniac, if you are listening and you do end up, I don't know, making this multiplayer game, I, you should keep the amount of NPCs, okay? Imagine you and a buddy just roasting the shit out of random people on the street here. <laughs> like this motherfucker's ball spot, like, God damn. Um, maybe we can just roast other things about your game. <laughs> but this has to be the best part of the trailer. Each Spidey starting off on a ledge as these multiverse portals pop up in the sky and then each Spidey jumping down into one singular one. Honestly, I think what they're doing is just ending the game, logging off for the night and they're just, they have to go through a portal to do so. Or, or that's how you enter a mission. But during this monologue, the voice actor of Peter Parker essentially says that you can just be chilling, eating pizza with the boys. And then all of a sudden you're chasing down bad guys and it shows some Spider-Man fighting the Sinister Six. Like actually dude. So what I'm getting at is you'd be able to fight every single villain. Like in the photo, we've got Vulture, Electro, Venom, Doc Ock. Imagine Vulture just flying through the sky and you have to like take him down. Wait, what the f Wait, what is happening? <laughs> Like, it's crazy to think that I had to painstakingly install one of those mods for me to, like, fight Doc Ock. You know, like, on my own terms, in open world. Wait, what the fuck? Whoa, that's some weird evil. Whoever happened to Dr. Robotnik, I want the old dude back. Wait, I'm actually doing well with my super speed. Yeah, yeah, come on, die. Um, do, do you despawn or what? I don't understand. <laughs> when the schlongs pulse. And also, is that the goddamn money we spawned in earlier? Mr. Beast has been looking all over for these. Oh, no, that's cocaine. Oh, that's the money. 
But again, this is cocaine. Cocaina. All right, well, he needs to pick on someone his own size. Yo, the way I grew. Ah, your perfect ball sucking length. Yes, I did fight him as Sonic. <laughs> Listen, the game didn't provide it, so I had to do it myself, okay? Really wishing this game, Spider-Man 2, was on uh, PC. I'd be mod on the f*** out of this game. My PC would be on fire. But I'm not too sure how they would actually pull that off because if it is multiplayer, right? And you end up defeating, let's say, Doc Ock on this random island out here that I can't get to. Would he just run away? You know, would he just flee the scene after like beating him up to a pulp? Do you send him to prison? Because I'm sure you'd want to fight him a second or third time, right? So for them to implement that and like have like a, a villain respawn sort of timer would be the best. But also if they have multiplayer, like there has to be multiplayer missions where you can fight these enemies, put them in jail, and then you can go over the open world and fight these guys again. <laughs> like I said, I have ideas. You want someone to write your sh for you? But on a cinematic level, this is the coolest cutscene I've ever seen. I mean, just knowing that you, you are Spidey with friends in game and possibilities to fight villains, hopefully even a Taskmaster fight or even a Green Goblin fight would be the coolest thing. Imagine being able to do all this in Spider-Man 2 where it's open world and you get to decide with a friend because at the end of the trailer, it shows be greater, together and yeah i know like it's called the great web but they need to change it to a web in space you know hinting at there's like different multiverses connected together by like a giant spider web because spider-man oh yeah and while i'm recording this video there's so much that's just popping up on twitter apparently a spider-man dev shows destructible environments fighting venom throughout the city which yeah dude an open world fight with venom would be Oh my, that would be the best. And seeing Spidey being grabbed by Venom and, and tossed through a wall is insane to me. I mean, if I can describe this pretty perfectly, he, we're in the middle of a street, we've got drones fighting us, random symbiotes fighting us, and there's burning cars everywhere. And then the gameplay switches over to like actual like work in progress footage where you're in an empty room with Venom in like some sort of training room. This is obviously just a test, but you're picked up and thrown by Venom through a breakable wall, like a building or something. There's also another scene where he grabs you by your stomach stomach and slams it to the ground. Also by this screenshot, it looks like Venom is just a lot more beefier, thicker if you may. So I don't know, it'd be crazy if there were different versions of the Venom in this multiplayer. And if there is, hey, I'm, I'm not complaining. The more Venom variants to fight, the better. It also looks like when he smashes you through the ground, you end up in the subway system for an epic subway fight. Oh my dude, they're just making movie scenes out of this game. Yeah, we're still here on Twitter, and I've come across this, where it looks like you can actually ride motorbikes in the game. <laughs> Look at the guy reply. Why cancel? Web swinging with a motorcycle would have looked cool as fuck. Yeah, no, we got Gwen on a bike swinging to a different platform. This would have been game of the year. Yo, shout out to this guy, Spider-Man News. He says, Spider-Man, the great web would have had raids according to a leak presentation. God, yeah, this, what is this, Destiny 2? I mean, with how replayable Destiny 2 was, I, and with how many hours I actually have in that game, I wouldn't mind spending those hours times three in Spider-Man 2 multiplayer. I don't know, dude, the possibilities are literally endless for this. The only problem is it's canceled, it'll never be released. I really hope it will be. Cause even though I really like the update to this game, Spider-Man 2, they could have definitely done more. Like mentioned, a whole ass playable Venom mission where you can free roam and kill random civilians. Kinda like how you can do it in the Ultimate Spider-Man game. Oh, such a good game. Or even a Carnage mission, like they've, they've hinted this as a DLC and yet we don't have the, the DLC. But really this video is a whole ass wish list for what I think the multiplayer will be like and hopefully if they actually pull it off and release it but what do you guys think would they uncancel this game would they release it and if they do would the multiplayer have just a bunch of bugs like think about it you've seen my videos and there there have been glitches like crazy throughout and even if it does have glitches is that a bad thing dude there's still more popping up look at this we got leaked early concept of insomniac's green goblin now i i know it's all animated and whatnot but dude the art style with the yeah. We need a Spider-Man 3 right now. Oh my God. Bro, the belt, the shoes. Uh, he's got two pointed toes. Uh, the nails. He's even got the goblin bombs from the movie. I mean, I would say best looking goblin I've seen so far, especially in the games. And it's not over. I want to give you guys a treat for the end of the video here, but we've got the official Spider-Man 2 Venom gameplay concepts. Like mentioned before, Venom in his own solo game with all these different forms would just be Ah, sugar on the rim of life. I don't even know what kind of reference that is, but we've got the double tentacle hammer fist. Venom doing his ranged attack, a skinny form. Dude, imagine like playing a Venom solo game and you can switch between different forms. Like if you're playing prototype, yo, yo, look at the gif. Look at the gif, dude. Dude, 
come on, man. Come on, dude. Give us what we want. And yeah, guys, there is a second trailer. I mean, it's all the same visuals, but Pete says some different things. But for there to be a second trailer, it, it seems like they were really about to release this multiplayer. I just really wish they would delay it and not have canceled it. But hey, I might come through as Spidey Jesus and install some mods and make my own Spider-Man multiverse multiplayer game. So if you want to see that, you know what to do. Let's hit that like goal. But in the meantime, click here on screen to watch me destroy the absolute hell out of these Spider-Man games with mods.